Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to deploy our application into devices of the several supported platforms. We've already seen how to deploy the application for test purposes. Now we'll see how to do it for an actual install. Let's discuss how to do it for Windows Mobile or CE platforms. All you need to do is create an executable and then copy it to the device storage. Here's our application, let's open it. Everything is working as expected. If we press the exit button, the application closes. If you need to install your application in the Windows desktop, we pretty much do the same thing. Under the deploy menu, we select generate executable and choose the desktop platform. Press next and Calypso generates the file that we can now copy and paste onto any Windows 7, 8, 10, etc. Once the executable is copied, we only need to double click to run the application. Here it is. Let's close it and go back to the designer. Regarding Android, you can either work in the same way as a Windows Mobile through the test on PDA feature. Or you can generate your own APK, uh, Android application package. Notice that it's not possible to generate a folder and copy it to the device. So to generate an APK, you need to have the JDK. If you have it, go to the deploy and select generate project APK. You should specify your company's domain name. Then specify the name which will be shown in Android to identify your application. In theory, you never need to set the version number if the auto increment option is on. This is the number from which Android warns you or not if your application is up to date. If someone has your APK with version number 4 installed and you upload a new one with version 5, he will be notified. You can also define an icon. Unlike Windows, Android expects a high resolution PNG file. 256 by 256 for instance. I'm gonna leave the default icon as always. The next step is highly important. We need to sign the application and in order to sign it we need a signature file. It's important that you create your own signature file. To do it so, press next and select use company signature. Press the button on the right to bring up the window to generate a new signature file. Select the folder where to create the signature file, specify the file name, the password, the private key name and the password. Press OK when done to generate the file. If we open the folder where the file was created, we can see it there. Now, we don't need to worry about filling the parameters because Calypso copied them for us. Press next again and select the target platforms. This property is used by Google Play to display or hide your application, depending on the device resolution where the search is being performed. Press OK and wait for the APK to be generated. This process can take a few seconds. OK. Now that we have the APK, we can either copy it to an Android device and run it from a File Explorer app or we can upload it to Google Play. I'm going to copy the APK to my device. Now I can install the application in the device. It's also possible to install the APK from a link, so you can install it from Dropbox, for instance. 
just send the link over and click it. Regarding Windows 10, you can also create an APPX to install on any Windows 10 device and can also be uploaded to the Windows Store. The process is very similar to the Android APK generation, but instead of generating a single file, it will generate a folder with all the necessary files to sideload the app onto a device or to upload it to the store. Since we aren't going to upload the app to the Windows Store, I'm going to fill this field in the suggested format. Fill this with the company name, here the application name, Now I'm going to fill the app short name and generate the product ID. You should also sign your application, so we need to generate a new signature, since it's different from the one created from Android. Let's fill the package identity name with sysdevmobile.tutorial1, fill the publisher. Now let's generate a new signature by pressing this button. Specify the password and select where to save it. Specify the subject key password. Enter the private key password. Now we press OK to generate the APPX. Here we are using the default icon also. And the package will be generated. Now to install on Windows 10 Desktop as an universal app, we just need to run the PowerShell script by right clicking it and select Run with PowerShell and follow the screen instructions. Now, if you search in the Windows Start menu, the application will show up, and then we can click to run it. You can also install to Windows 10 device. After we enable the device portal, we go to its IP address and select the app package. and press Deploy. Now, if we go to the Windows 10 device applications, we can see our app installed. Let's run it. Now we can close it. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial on how to install your Calypso application. See you on the next one.